Hey, what's up, Impact Wrestling fans? It is the Impact Lounge, and I am BQ. Thanks for swinging by. Newcomers, please hit the subscribe button. We're talking Impact Wrestling on here just as much as humanly possible. So Impact today has announced, well, they've officially announced the Redemption pay-per-view for April 22nd, 2018. This was on the, the teleconference, and usually we have Impact Lounge on teleconference, but we did miss this one. All three of us were unavailable. So I was really hoping to hear you know the announcement firsthand, but didn't get a chance to. So Redemption, April 22nd. Uh, first thing we thought when they announced there was going to be a new pay-per-view was that it was going to be in um, Toronto. So it's in Orlando. And a lot of people were disappointed with this. Now, as someone who's been to the Impact, Impact Zone in Orlando a couple times for pay-per-views and for Impact tapings, you know, I can tell you the pay-per-view atmosphere is very, very different in there. It, you know, it always exceeds, you know, hits capacity. And there's a, you know, a lot, line of 100 people outside waiting to get into. So, I mean, people do want to be there for it. It feels like a more special occasion, much louder in there, obviously, much, a lot more energy. The problem is the set of tapings that comes after it especially the night after a pay-per-view which always seems to be a real low point every time the company tapes the next night we, we've uh I, i'm recording this during impact right now um so we've seen two episodes of impact so far under the new regime the the um, first one crowd pretty good second one you could hear a pin drop and i know i give people a hard time you know those especially those in the front row However, to stand up for them a little bit, I've been there. The second half of the first day of tapings or the second half of any day of tapings is very tiring. It's very difficult to keep that um, energy going. Now, if you notice for the main event, the crowd usually wakes up a little. Now, if you compare this to like Monday Night Raw where people are sitting there for three hours, you know, um, the three hours at least builds to something. When you're, when you're at the Impact show, the main event is, you know, at the hour and you know hour and a half mark, and then it kind of starts over, and you're getting um, the mid card matches and the uh, you know the lower card matches. So sometimes it takes you out of the game a little bit. But with that being said, reflects very poorly on television, and, and the crowd was just dead last. So the worst I've I can remember seeing in a very long time watching the show on TV. So that's the one thing. I'm gonna to try to be in uh, in Orlando for this. I'm gonna. I have. I'm, it's about ninety percent chance I'll be in New Orleans for that show. I'm gonna to try to be in Orlando. This was initially. We we thought it was gonna be locked down, and I don't know if this was just a fan rumor that got too big, um, or maybe that was the intention. But they were going to the four sided ring. Maybe they couldn't. They didn't have the uh, the pieces for the steel cage. Who knows? I, Lord knows. I have no idea. But they decided to go with Redemption. I thought I read something today, and someone, you know, please correct me on this if I'm incorrect. I thought they said this was the first brand new pay per view since Genesis in 2005. Is that right? That sounds like a long time ago for them to introduce a brand new pay per view. But I think it's cool we're getting a new pay per view, and I think it's going to be a good one. And I know a couple of the matches so far, and I think it looks promising. I'm excited for it. Um, it's going to be bound, better than Bound for Glory. We know that much. I know some of you did like BFG. I didn't. And uh, I haven't said that about an Impact pay-per-view in a few years. So I think this. I think Redemption is going to be good. And um, I think we have a lot to look forward to. And um, yeah, so leave any thoughts, thoughts in the comments again. I think a lot of us thought it was going to be in Toronto and we wanted to see a new market. But... You know, finances are the name of the game, folks. That is one thing we have to keep in mind. If we're going to be these hardcore Impact Wrestling fans, we have to be very realistic with ourselves. And uh, they've got a home there in Orlando, and I'm sure they have a reason for doing what they're doing. I was told by a pretty reliable source in November that this January set of tapings was going to be the last time they were going to be in Orlando for a while. And uh looks like they're going to be right back in Orlando. So, uh I don't know. I don't know what to say about that one, but Redemption should be awesome. And let's uh, let's see what happens as they announce matches, and we'll uh, we'll be talking about them. Thanks for listening, folks. Uh, talk to you soon. Peace.